What's up guys? It's Brent back here. And we are doing some more Slay the Spire modded Library of Runa. So, just downfall. As you know, that's not what we're doing. We're gonna go back in here today. We're gonna go in with the defect. Um, last time we did uh, the silent and we did uh, some kind of like black swan, which is an ego card. Um, erosion kind of build. Um, died on 4-3, but it was actually farther than we made it the first time. Um, we were trying to pull off some kind of atomic bomb, like, quote, uh, poet's quill kind of build. Didn't work out, didn't have enough high cost cards, but nonetheless, it was fun. Um, also, before we get started into here, um, I just want to give you guys a, um, just a thank you. Uh, the last two videos have done really good, um, like, surprisingly to me. Um, and yeah, just a little thanks for me. It's nice to see it. It's very motivating to continue what I'm doing here. But enough of that, let's get going. Um, I'm always kind of okay to try the ego cards. We haven't tried them all yet, but they're always interesting. Same with a random event, but a rare card could also just be kind of fun. We don't lose our first chest. Uh, I think I'll do that this time. Thunderstrike, well, kinda takes the path we wanna try. Thunderstrike with, I think it's ukulele is a fun build. Got our Forsaken Murderer right here, uh, and it's when we hit him, right? Whenever I play an attack. Well, let's do that. This does not count as an attack, and I will not kill him. I think I'm going to go with the double um, double defense here. But hope everyone is doing good. We're just going to autopilot through this fight right here. Should not be too terribly bad. Um, he is not the worst. Um, just a little bit of damage on his end, but I hope you all are doing good um, Just a simple simple uh, Monday. I thought today was about said Tuesday would not have been correct. Just a simple Monday. Hope no one had too bad of a Monday They always people always complain about them, but sometimes you know you just have to get them done What with the streamline there? It's a little bit of reliability um, In the draw and some AoE damage is nice. It's like this library of runa has a lot of groups of enemies um, Dead Man's Ring here. Um, we've seen this one before. I think I still like going with both hands. However, there are some combinations of rings that are not very nice. Um, but I still think we do it. We did get voices. Little clog. Um, all enemies start with five confusion. Never apply to enemies. Confusions give a random attack damage modifier. Each round ranging from minus three to plus two. So it'll either make them strong. Okay, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna pick up, obtain three potions and two random relics with a fix related potions. Each time you go through three rooms without using potion, lose two max HP. I'm gonna be bad at that, but we'll try it. Uh, it at least gives us a ticker right here. Ring of Addiction there. Million ring and potion brewer plus these three, which are all pretty nice. And it wasn't potion, potion brewer. It was potion belt. So I didn't talk about what path we were going to. We kind of just looked. And here's a good time to decide. I was kind of leaning towards question mark path up, which seems to be the best with a um, three elite path. Maybe actually might be four. I think I'm actually going to duck and do the two. A little bit more question marky. Um, also a chance for a bonfire at the end, which would be good for a toke. Um, also, there's a swan this time. Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Butterflies. This is where the oh, they're all confused. Uh, I wish it told you if it was doing. Currently minus two. It does. Currently zero. Okay. Like that. Um, we're not gonna go for the kill. Well, we can. The actually that worked out very well in our favor. Dual strikes usually or dual cast is usually a little unpredictable, but I like it. AOE and the sweeping beam here, mostly for the card draw. And then we're gonna kill this backliner. Easy enough, they're gonna paralyze us once again. Yep. But we should, with, especially with like Thunderstrike. Yeah, let's go Thunderstrike here. And then he should be dead. He is. Ooh, okay. Beefo Q, they've actually added an art to, which I actually really like. And I feel like they've buffed it. I thought it was three, then four, but they did four and then an eight. Which does fit with our thunder stacking build. Oh, voices in my head. Not very fun. And we're gonna go dual cast early here. Don't really like it, but 
better than nothing. And the enlightenment here. Ugh. Hmm. I think I wait on the queue. Too slow for this combat specifically. Especially with this mod. It might just be too slow in general. Take the draw here. Thunderstrike, not really what I wanted. I think we got them. Yep. Gambler's Brew. We need to take a potion next time. Gotta remember that. Another Sweeping Beam? Yeah. I like the AoE. I like the card draw. Cow. Like that. Very good, especially early on. Only voices and 10 damage. I'm gonna go with the, the Q here. We still don't have a lot of ways to fill it, but not too bad about it currently. These guys are gonna get weird. Yeah, 18 here. Currently, and that's with a minus one, so he had been 20. Uh, well, this is a good time. I think we took the two damage from the ring, but this would be a good time. Let's go ahead and drink this and reset that counter. Um, we're gonna sweeping beam into another sweeping beam. And I think we'll go to the end. But Monday's almost over. I'm excited. Uh, work was not too terribly for me. Um, no, no meetings today, which is usually a Monday thing. Lots of meetings for me, um, but nothing today. Just annoyed customers, problems, but I got to, which this might sound like the lamest thing. I got to sit and just work on Excel files, which is very satisfying in a way to um, just like, well, I think it's more satisfying because I get to kind of just put on music and do my own thing. Ugh. What could give me do 26? I can't do 26 damage. I'm gonna take 24 here. Ugh. We're gonna have to rest at some point. But it sounds lame, but I can put on a podcast. I can play music and just kind of like, it's satisfying just to dig into something, to put like some time into it and just knock it out, which this is something where I have, I don't know, 600 or 700 edits, if not more that I'm having to currently do, which sounds, again, very boring. Um, but it, it was nice and relaxing and made the day pass really quickly. Um, chemical blood, every time you lose HP equal to 25% of your max, gain a random potion. Mm. Rose tinted glasses sound a little better. Um, they let you exhaust the first status. So, yeah, and then you draw the card. So it just replaces itself. Leap's good, it's a uh, good block card. Evoke all your orbs and draw one card. Panic button also is kind of interesting. Um, since we got the FIFO queue, I think that's how you say that. Um, you could we could stack a lot, but the problem is I think I'm gonna take a leap and like call it. The problem with that idea is we don't have a way to fill up our orb slots. And without that, it kinda is kinda useless. Um I really don't because it's uh five nine damage. We can double block here. Doesn't get a lot done now, but but it'll prepare actually. That is the move. It'll prepare us for a sweeping beam next turn. And that should, if we play it correctly, remove the paralysis to attack sweeping beam. I think we can cut them all down to size. Didn't get the sweeping beam. Okay. Um they're doing seven. Let's start knocking some of these out. Um I don't want to take that, so I will oh I did that wrong. Um play the blocks here. Okay. All right. Second thing, I'm, I'm trying to, um, as a smaller YouTuber, trying to get better at. I messed that up completely. Um, get better at conversating while in the midst of playing a game, which doesn't sound hard, but it it makes my brain explode every time I do it. Um, so doing it successfully seems like a thing I should need. By the way, what we should have done is played out. I forgot. I even mentioned it a minute ago. Play out the paralysis, then play the sweeping beam, um, and it came back to haunt us there. We also have paralysis right now, and they're doing 14 damage, which will kill us. I think what I want to do is drink. I want to find the sweeping beam, I think. And that's, that is it. Okay, so paralysis for one. Um, we want to hit the you. These are six to all. That kills them all. And that reseek that our ring. Um, ooh, so these are some more draw cards. Crystal Conduit, interesting. 
only because it channels a random orb. The crystal is actually not very good. Um, you can see the stats there. Gives you focus when evoked. Uh, you can gain orb, sl orb slots. It's okay. Um, but the random orb could be really good. You get can get into some weird synergies. There's a Nate. There's a card in your hand. Is Nate. No, pretty fast. Nate, they're great. Darkness is good, but I don't think that's what we're going for. I want to channel more lightning. I'm also going to go here and probably rest. Not the most HP, but it will get us through. What we're going to do. Ooh, okay. This is a toughie. And I will get back to what I was mentioning. Um, Nunzaku's great for attacks. If we were going to somehow pivot into a claw build, Nunzaku is awesome. However, I think it's Warpaint, but it could really screw us over if it doesn't hit. But um, I need Crystal Conduit. I need Leap. Any of the fins, I guess I'd be fine with. Um, Zap would actually be huge. Same with Dual Cast. I think I'll go for it. Defend and Leap. 50 50. Not the best one's not the worst. Um, but anyway, before I got onto my rant about trying to, to do better talk, um, okay, I thought he would change over. Um, I did want to ask what you guys thought, um, would be fun to play on the channel next. Um, I, I kind of put a poll on Twitter, which I don't use Twitter a lot, unfortunately. Um, I've been trying to use it more regularly, um, to keep up with people and all that kind of jazz. Um, but I've kind of posted a made a post talking about um, that thing. Oh, he kicked over already. Nine's a lot better, actually. Um, than Crystal here. Um, talking about what we should play, I gave kind of four ideas, and I'll, I'll break them out here, because I didn't <laughs> get any response, unfortunately. Um, oh, and I clicked off the screen like a great YouTuber. Did it again. We played Sweeping Beam. Um, oh, he's going to tick over. I'm actually going to hold here. Um, but I did, I said, don't starve. I, we died recently, um, and then I've taken a break because Library of Runa's been, been doing very good. Um, and I'm happy that people are enjoying it, so why not continue to play it? Um, the other idea, he's triggering in two, which is confusing me. Um, the other idea I had, I'm also going to reset my ring, um, was to do, uh, so DST, which we've been playing, don't starve together. Um, but doing the new update, it's the waterlogged update, I think is what it's called, for the specifics. Um, that sounds like a lot of fun. I figured figured we could get, um, even if we just explored it a little bit, I feel like it'd be very nice. I think this kills him too. Oh, it doesn't, and we're going to take six. Actually, it might. And then the poison actually does. We're good. That could be a lot of fun. Uh, I said... Rimworld, which we haven't done in a little bit, um, mostly because I just took a break from it, um, had a new DLC come out, um, which would be the Ideology update. Um, seems like a lot of fun. I haven't watched a lot of it because, um, watched a lot of it on YouTube from other YouTubers, um, because I thought about uh, taking a crack at it, but I haven't yet. Um, and I thought about bringing it to the channel. Could be fun. Starting a whole new series, developing our own cult, um, would be a lot of fun. I said we're getting close into what I like, what my brain can remember. Um, oh, ooh, I think you're too. Um, Seven Days Desire would be fun, just like a casual playthrough. Uh, I haven't played it in a while. I think since like Alpha Seventeen, before the 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 copter and the car and the motorcycle came out. So it's been a long time. And then the other one was Rust. I've I've always liked the idea of playing Rust, but I've never taken the time to try it because I think I'd be very bad at it. But again, learning new games could be a lot of fun. Ooh, I could do a risky here. Eight would kill if it hit both of these two. Would be in super business. I'm gonna do it, and it did. Uh, I forgot they transform into these. Give me the gift, little gremlins, but that's fine. I don't think they hit us yet. No. And now they're hitting us for a lot. But those are the ones I was thinking. Um, if you guys have any opinions or ideas, um, of something I might not be thinking of. Oh my god. I I'm gonna defend again. 
Um, let the lightning do its job. Um, if you guys have other ideas, I have Apex, I have Overwatch, and I have like a slew of other games. But I'm trying to think of what I think would be fun to watch. Um, I feel like some of those I need to be actually good <laughs> to enjoy. Um, so I have not tried playing them on the channel, and I'm going to do that. Oh, I didn't realize that was all enemies. So they're dead. You are taking more damage. Waste of lightning there, but these minions being gone, I think is better for me. So that was it for my little randomness update. And we're going to do this too. Right, I think we're on the backswing of this fight. I don't think she'll bring out any more dudes. But on the chance that she does, we're going to be in trouble. Oh, whenever they exhaust, take 10 damage and exhaust this card. It cannot be modified by external effects. So we do need a block. And I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to also keep laying damage. If it just deals the damage, no, it hits our block. Okay. So if we continue blocking through it, it should be fine. Another cool headed here is pretty nice. Zap in the rotation. Beam. beam. Uh, we're going to go for the defend. Keep this rolling. Um, because these gifts will continue to peck at us, and I don't want that. And I think we got it right here. There we go. Okay. Stressful. Gremlin Horn's fun. Powers you Dentures is also fun, but we don't have any powers yet. Besides FIFO Q, which would not be good duplicated. Gremlin Horn's it, especially when these, uh, enemies tend to come in packs. Uh, shared library. I've never figured out what it's good for. If anyone has ideas of something, I would love to know because it could be fun um, to play around with. Doing a ball lightning, we need more orbs, like I mentioned. Uh, funeral for the dead. Funeral of the dead butterflies. We've seen this one. I think last time we grabbed an ego card. This time, I don't think I want to lose an HP. I think I'll have to go with the max HP here, and we'll remove two cards. So we get a strike and a defense. We'll read what he here. Quiet death. It came to those lying in their beds, weak from age or sickness. It took away their pain, their troubles, their worries. It freed them from the struggles that came with the mortal coil. Slowly you awakened from a place of unnatural, twin unnatural tranquility. But as your eyes open and your hands push the lid, as your eyes open and your hands push open the lid, open twice, uh, you can't help but feel that you have left something behind in that place. Um, I think the bonfire is going to be better than the question mark. Also, we've not seen this one. This is Happy Teddy Bear. Um, affection. Whenever this creature fully or partially blocks attack damage, it gains one strength. Okay. So we don't want to allow, give them the opportunity to block. Good opening hand for that. With all the lightning. Timid and dear mid. Okay. Not terrible. We'll head it here. Followed by Crystal Conduit. Uh, we actually don't have any kind of block. Uh, yeah, unfortunate. We're just going to have to take 11. Well, we're, we have four blocks. But we don't have any, like, block cards. Uh, and I just want to go ahead and kill him if I can. Sleeping here. And, yeah, strike. Uh, we're going in the boss low HP, so... Don't know how well we'll do. Defrag is very good. Uh, rest. Uh, well, we do have a rest. I think we gotta take it. As much as I want to toke, I rest will be probably more beneficial. All right, we have a, uh, especially since we haven't seen this one. Hey, and this this would have been a fun one to see last run, but we didn't. Uh, dream of the Black Swan. Second brother, first brother, third brother. Okay. Um. Uh, Oh, they all are different. So we have the Faithful Brother. In the round, if this creature is active, the boss gains two plated armor. Okay. In the round, uh, if this creature is active, the boss gains one artifacting. If they if they have no artifacting. Um, she, at the end of the round, another brother becomes active. If three or more brothers have died, uh, uses a powerful attack. Okay. Uh, stalwart Brother. At the end of the round, if this creature is active, shuffle one daze. And then at the end of the round, if this creature is active, I gain one vulnerability. Gross. Uh, okay. We want to go. So they're only active, like right now, they haven't actually have a health bar. So you can't whittle them away too quickly. 
Go with the leap here, and then we'll go with the actual strike. We're also going to go with the potion. Uh, and it's definitely electrodynamics. Seems pretty good to start off with. Kill the brothers quickly. Oh, and there with the DP. Alright, there's another brother. Defo Q is great. Ugh, we're gonna take damage though. But I think it's great to get it up very early. To make the fight a little better. Okay. Oh, ouch. Now I'm just worried about that powerful attack really. Um, okay, AoE. Six. Um, you give the artifacting. You give the dazed. Um, I kind of like the idea of full cool heading. And then what we'll do is we'll, ooh, defrag, and then that should kill probably both of them. Uh, four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Yep. There we go. And then Gremlin Horde for two deaths, which we can't use, unfortunately. She strengthens herself and brings the other brother. Twenty damage coming here, which will kill us. Um, we need to draw into a defend if we can. We don't. Uh, 22. We have 11. That will just kill us. We should have used the defense. Oh, uh, no it won't. This one will die. We will be down low, but I don't think that we're not dead dead. Two. <laughs> just barely not dead. Okay. Still hitting us for a bunch, but the double, the double defend and such here, uh, definitely helps a lot. All the brothers are down there, so... We just let the lightning kind of take advantage, unless we kill here. Uh, 7 times 6 is 42 plus lightning. I think that does it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't count it, but it did do it. Nice. Adrenaline potion. Okay, offer one type of orb anytime you channel an orb channel. It's just... Ooh, it does take some of the fun out, but oh, the lightning. Yeah, we'll go for it. Go for that thunder strike. Um, not dome. Dripper's hard. I think I'll take astrolabe. Let's just try it. Uh, strike, strike, defend. Uh, I seen hyper beam. So hyper beam, hologram, go for the eyes. I'm actually fine with all these. Hyper beam's great in just normal boss combat. Not normal boss. Normal enemy combat. Um, it's good for just cleaning up shop. It wrecks most most enemies can't handle it, um, and then we can do a more like slow specialized build for the bosses. We'll see how that works. Okay, go to the top and work our way backwards. Bonfire here is nice, but double double fires here. Elite fire. This is a super upgrade path. Okay, we can get one elite if we dip right there. We're gonna get one up there, so I'm kind of okay. Just getting a bunch of rest in. We have a lot of upgrades we kind of want to do. And I sometimes neglect upgrading the cards. Which is unfortunate. Alright. Uh, this is Nos Nosferatu. Devil of... It looks like Transylvania, but... Who am I to judge uh, where he's defending and giving his allegiances to? And the weakness from the go for the eyes. Very nice. Always satisfying when you draw the correct card. Cool, Hyper Beam is not correct right now. A uh, crystal sign though. Get the extra damage and we'll punch him. Alright, Merciless Jester there. Uh, what is this then? 21. That won't do it. Um, yeah, not, not the best. We're gonna go for Lightning. I also could see, which I've never really done it, is specializing in uh, dark orbs and then just like quickly cycling through them because they do more damage overall. Not just a conduit. That's it. He has 19, so we need hyper drawing hyper beam would be great. Hyper beam does eight. We need to poke him first. Now, unfortunately, we did not draw a poke card. Uh, I could just block through. Uh, go for the eyes here. That helps. And yeah, now it does 34. But it is not the correct time. But we're fine. Actually, the crystal gave us some warp slots, which was unexpected and kind of nice. And that does it. Gambler's Brew. Oh, I'm, I'm neglecting my Ring of Addiction. Hopefully it's not messing this up too much. 
Ooh, we got the werewolf, Dark Hunter. Now I think our boss is also Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood, if I can speak, and the uh, Big Bad Wolf. Um, fifteen in here. I don't really like. I don't really like hologramming here either. I think I'll. I mean, hologramming or hyperbeaming. I think we'll draw a card. Defend? No, strike. I think I'm actually going to go ahead. Drop these boys off and draw something new. Yeah. That was a much better decision there. Good use of a potion. We've already done the 35. Took some heavy damage to start off with. 12 coming in. Sweet first. Upgrade defend there. Yeah, we'll basically defend too. Don't want to take more damage than I have to. Defo Q, cool headed. Cool headed's pretty nice. Crystal Conduit here. I think we go for it. And I might also Adrenaline Potion here, honestly. Depending on what we draw. We did draw the Leap. I think I'll do it. Yeah. Definitely worth the trouble. Um, do we pop another Crystal or do we pop another Defend? Finn does nothing. Crystal kind of does nothing, but it starts like cycling through our orbs. 19. He is now Shadow Form. Luckily, Hyper Beam. Ow. Oh. He's untargetable and immune to effects for one turn. Boy, how I messed that up. I knew he turned black and ghostly. I didn't realize uh, he could take no damage. Mistake on my part. Um, I don't know if I can really kill him here. Damn, we're gonna take 12 more. I'm, I suck at that. That was not fun. Not good indeed. Uh, we have him though. Over the ice thunder strike. Ooh, sunder and consume. Consume. I'm actually gonna take the cool header though. Consume's good. It's too slow. For what we're trying to, like, the overall arc and goal, a little too slow. Also, Knight of Despair. Uh, whenever a minion dies, lose 40 HP. Okay. Not good. I do not want to kill this minion. Uh, has metallicized, worthless attacks, and fails to deal unblocked attack damage to dice. This is nonsense. I just kill them both. How much do I take? Lose 40. Does she lose 40 HP or do I lose 40 HP? These are questions I kind of need to know. This part of me is like hyper beam. But part of me is like, will it deal a ton of damage to me? Oh boy. I, mean, I think I gotta go for it. Now if I lose 40, we're, we're just doomed. Okay. Um, go for the ice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Full headed. D frat. No. Sleeping beam does six, which is not enough to kill them. Uh, do this and then do dual cast. Yes. Hits them. More energy. Okay, they took 40. It did go the correct way. Alright. Hyper beam might not have been great first. Oh, and they're back and they're dealing 20 again. Is this an elite fight? It is not. It's a normal enemy room. It's like they're just beating me up. Sad. I mean, yeah, I mean, I can do this. And then I could do this. And this. But I still am dead. Yeah. This is a rough one. Dead to the Celestial Sword. That was a quickie, but we did see some new stuff. And we got a little chatting in. Um, I think we're already half an hour in. I don't think we're going to do... What What the heck? We'll do one more. I was going to say we weren't going to do another one. Let's do one very quickly. No risk. No reward. As many elites as I can go. Boom. Two basic cards. Two... Uh, no, no. Yes. Actually, I should choose something else. Basic strike. Calculated training is focus days exhaustive two focus deck. All right, uh, elite one oh, over here, one two. So this one's two going up the center. Three, boom. Three elite path shop, and so we're gonna go this way. 
Uh, I don't know what the focus is really going to do here, but I guess there's no reason not to play it. And man, I just clicked off again. Didn't miss too much though. Just played two defense and a strike. I really need to figure out how to lock to a screen. Okay, then dual cast here. Kills one, hurts another one. Oh, I get resituated in my chair. Alright, um, this will be more damage in a daze, which is fine. Oh, these do one, but double defend. I guess we want to get down the paralysis. I mean, I think the, yeah, the lightning is going to continue hitting them. And that's ten. You should be dead. But just in case. Never hurts. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, actually, this sounds really fun. One dark, one lightning, one dark, one crystal, one frost, one glass, and one and hellfire, or water and hellfire, and plasma, and or glass and plasma. We can go a dual play, do like a claw build with the hellfire. Ooh, we haven't seen this one. So, Snow White's apple. You find yourself in a strange forest, dearly dreary and damp, if I can talk. Uh, you find a bizarre creature made of branch and root waiting for you in the middle of a clearing. It offers you an apple. I mean, I take the apple. Oh, no, wait. Uh, is this max HP? No, I would rather reject it. Give me the malice. Start your turn to deal 2 damage to all enemies. It is at or below 50% deal 5 damage to all. I'm fine with that. Um, the creature frowns and screeches. At you in an overwhelming display of malice you turn and run but even after your long felt left the forest you still feel as though the creature's malice intent fingers i butchered some of those it's fine double keys oh here we go here we go here we go um <laughs> ring of challenge right click during during the first turn of combat to activate usual three times per combat um it makes the enemy stronger every 10 times you use this relic you'll obtain a random relic at the end of the fight and then the Ring of Addictions, which... Ooh, Sacred Branch, though. Our Sacred Bark is a really good one for that. And I think I went the wrong way. I think I wanted to go up the middle. We can get a similar effect. It's just going to be more shop-heavy. We got the Crazed Employees Looming Evil. I can be played for three to exhaust, and then in return, shuffle like curse in your draw pile, and reduce this, this cost. I think I just go ahead and play the Looming Evil. Will be something we remove at the shop if we can. 16 here and dual polarity would be good. Calculated okay, training, dual polarity. I think I'm with the hellfire in the water. Seems pretty good. I need to get that reduced down to one because this just gives me at the new turn, at the start of your turn, getting three strength. That we just punch really hard. Um, I could do it again too for some like really good effects. It'll push off a lightning. It pushed a bunch of these off. And the water, so we'll evoke and draw two cards. Yeah, here's what I'm going to do. Do this. Alright, puts those around. Got a lightning, got a dark, and then this is nine. And then... We'll take the ten. Not about using a potion, but we won't yet. Kind of saving the, wanting to save those for an elite. Training. Zap. So this gives me a bunch of strength, right? Until the end of turn. Apply. It. So it'll give a vulnerability. Anyway, I have no attacks in my hand, so it doesn't actually assist me any. So I'm actually going to just block up. Take two. But she's almost. She's actually just dead. I don't know why I was like playing it so preciously. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Double energy. Double your energy. System scan. I've not either. I've not seen this, or they've added new artwork to it. Next to your card, you draw exhaust and draw a card when draw. That's not bad. Something similar to what the automaton does, or some of the cards the automaton has. I guess is more correctly stated. Ah, forsaken murder, my friend. This is a good turn to do this. Do the training and continue. This doubles the effect of potion. Maybe it's new potions we pick up. I think we should have picked. Eh. I don't know. Uh, zap, defend. Let's go with the strike. I forgot we need to be hitting him, not just playing cards. I have to punch him in the head. 
Uh, another zap, though. Just can't not quick things by accident. He is dead, though. Oh, he died for the Looming Evil, actually. Yeah, that one's... That's not even doubled, it's tripled. Also, I need to be doing the other thing. Uh, cool-headed. Alright. Oh, you guys again. Also, we forgot to be doing the Ring of Challenges. Uh, Strength, Thorns... Oh, the Thorns suck. A um, bunch of stuff here. Uh, I guess I keep the Looming Evil for a minute. It stinks. Go ahead and drink one of these. Give me 20 block for this turn. Then dual paralyzed. Go ahead and channel that. Lightning and darkness. We got a disease. Gross. These things look like they could give me a disease, so I'm not actually that surprised. And we're gonna go with the calculation training. Then we're gonna go to zap. Killed one of them. Honestly, I'm kind of okay to try and. Uh, I'm gonna actually start on the Wee Witch's friend here. That sounds not fun. Well, if I can get them killed too before the next turn, we actually probably be good. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. We're gonna cool head it here. Uh, what are you doing? I think you're doing a gift, which I don't really want. He's now a spider. We'll defend here. Now, I really don't want to burn the darkness orb on this little spider if I can. Calculation training. Yeah. We're gonna strike, and then we're going to zap. 26 to her, and then defend. Looking good. The gifts are getting rel relatively low. Yeah, one of them exhausted. And then she got to stab me. But with this, go ahead and do some more damage here. 13. We're doing... One strike should help finish that up. Alright, nice. Courier. Very good. So, uh, couriers, they restock. No price is reduced. Uh, fission's great. Be good with what we're doing here. And then we're going up to that elite up there. I do not want to brew. I want to probably rest. Taking a lot of damage, but we're going for a high risk, high reward. So it is, <laughs> it is expected. Okay. We can't get the washers, but we can get the stamp. I'm going to do it. I really want these washers. And it's another cost like decrease. And then I still can go ahead and remove the looming evil. So the washers, um, uh, at the start of each combat, draw three additional cards. Oh, this is deck. I thought these were donus. It's fine now. Three additional cards add a day star draw pile. Pretty good. Now getting two additional focus at the start, at the end of your turn, if you have empty channel crystal. That's actually pretty good, too. Uh, Black Swan, we've seen. Sanguine Desire. Manifest. Um, deal 18 damage and apply four bleed for every manifest you paid. And then Finger Trap, you cannot lose HP during your turn. I've seen ones like that. I think Potato is another relic that does that. Or something very similar. Fire or Weak is also applied to the enemy that sent it. Fine. Actually pretty good in this mod, I think. Okay, hello, Porcubus. Ooh, we can get a lot of value here. Yeah, we're going to do this. Uh, dual polarity here. We're going to... Catastrophic energy. Vision here. There's the IOU. Uh, calculation training. Zap. Double defend. Strike. It actually wasn't as much as I thought it was. But I forget we need to upgrade the vision first. Um, cool heads here should be good. And it's very good. Uh, it's eight. We'll take one. I'm okay with that. Okay, there's the dual polarity again. I think we'll go for the frost one this time. Actually a lot of block here. And then if we zap, we're actually fully blocked. We'll hit them, the thorns are fine. So we will, oh, we just kill them apparently. I, I, gotta, I gotta hit the ring of challenges, gotta remember. Um, one crystal conduit. It's risky because they're not as good. And these, I didn't realize these are an elite. I thought these were just normal enemies. Okay. Um, let's go ahead. I'll do a challenge here. Thorns and regeneration. We're also going to drink this for 12 plated armor. <laughs> uh, we're hedging our bets. So he's doing 16. I do not want to take the damage, so we'll do it that way. And we'll also cool headed for another card draw. 
gonna see if we can uh, manage to stay safe. Okay. Calculated training. 20 coming in. So we want to. We have 15 right now. So one defense, fine, but also a crystal. Gives 10, right? Yep. And we could break through and do that again, but I want to continue the damage specifically and get one of these down. And I should have hit the back one. He's the one with the regen, so he needs to go first. Okay. I owe you there. Oh, 20 coming in. Oh, but we're just blocked for 20. So if that's all they're going to do and not gain, we actually have just hit equilibrium. It costs the plated armor, but pretty good. Also, I don't know why our potions are tripled. Um, I think I'll go for the... Uh, this is kind of a crappy hand. I guess defend, defend. Go ahead and do this and cycle through. Yeah, we need to get some more damage back on board. And we kind of just like reset there, uh, but got a strike in the mix. Okay, he's down to 8. He'll go back up to 11. Terrible. Not terrible indeed. And they're like poisoned or something. And we, oh, we only can do it first time, so. Can't do it towards the end. I think we'll also go here and do like a fire. Bunch of damage. 20 coming in, we're fully blocked for that. Okay. Now if we can just push the dark orb up and over, we should be good here. So we'll do this, we'll crystal, we'll zap, and then we should be done. Back of marbles, vulnerability. Not too important, not too bad. And I will take one copy of self-repair here. Actually pretty good. Another shopkeep here. Um... Oh, faint or faint aroma. Whenever you deal unblocked attack damage to enemy, it loses that much HP. I don't get how that works. Unblocked attack. It's like it doubles the amount of. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like it doubles the amount of damage you do. Give them retain. I'm kind of wanting war paint here. This would give me a hundred gold, which would be enough. Take another loan for the bank. Oh, zap and calculation training. Good hit. Good, good hits, actually. And we're back to her again. The Latia, I think is how you say her name. All right, we're going to go with the zap here. I'm going to go with... Uh, mm -hmm -hmm. uh, 14 plus 20. No, 18. Coming in. I know I'm going to block some. That's cool head, didn't see. Uh, I need that upgraded pretty bad. Go ahead and ring a challengers here. Go ahead and we're going to drink the armor's tincture here. Gain a little bit extra. And then we'll call it that. And this has to get the 10. Pretty hard. Alright. Dual polarity is actually very good here. Uh, I'm going to go with light and dark. And then I'm also going to, ooh, uh, this is five, crystal would be five, so actually we just play this. We're going to take some damage, miss the target on that. Ow. Ow. Okay. Calculation training is good. Self repair is also very good. I'd like to get that out. Um, are you just exploding? What are you doing? Dealing 10 damage. I don't really want that. Crystal conduit for some block here, and then we'll do this. But yeah, now they are the spider. Host spider, if it would be. Oh, they're both host spiders. Okay. Oh, I kind of want to. I don't really want to. Okay. Um. Crap. Because this one's going to get wasted if I do it with a dual, dual polarity here. But I can't take 24 damage. So, I think I had dual polarity here. We get the plasma and the glass, and then we fission, get a bunch of cards, try to reset everything once again. Uh, I can play this. Oh no, that's one more turn. Defend, dual cast, and just hope I can get through this. Oh man, getting rough. I mean, I gotta continue to lay on the damage. Uh, we're gonna take two more here, a oh, plus four. I was thinking of the gift only. Um, zap. Go ahead and 
clarity. A stone in that. So that should give some more block. Hit her again. We're up to 11. Alright. I think we actually will get through this. I just don't know if we'll make it through another fight afterwards. Do that. Hit her. Okay. Porcupine Quill is not that great. And Doom and Gloom is a good card. Good AoE card. Oh, we've not seen these ones either. Friend of the Galaxy with the Don't Leave Me. Whenever the creature dies, it revives this turn with the HP of another enemy. Weird. Okay, okay. Uh, 12 damage coming in. Not good. We're going to take two. To get our AoE would be in good shape here. Uh, okay. Calculation. self repair is actually great. Then, if only I could not take damage, self repair would be much better. Waiting. Okay, interesting. I do like the design. The color is very nice on them. And that actually does it. Very good. I don't want darkness. A little too slow. I think I gotta go for the normal, normal shop and rest. Or the normal, uh, campfire and rest. And we got Silent Orchestra. I like this though. I like the the big uh, musical scythe here. Um, we're going to go with the Doom and Gloom early. Conduit. We're going to see if we can build it pretty quick. It will cost us 7 here. I'm not. Uh, I will challenge. Challenge him. He has Mercury Alagos. I'm, I'm fine with that. 3 additional damage. Ooh, now he's got music rainbow, uh, rainbow music notes. Pretty cool. Focus here, self-repair, uh, defend, defend. And what is this thing? At the end of the round, shuffle a performer into the disco part. Whenever a performer is on, add a copy to your disco file. Huh. I don't quite get it. Um, that's 23 right there. He's dealing 17. Yeah, let's draw another card here. Second chair. When retained, a random enemy gains one strength next to her. Oh. So you don't want to draw through your deck too quickly. Ooh, third movement. Third chair. Okay. Alright, he's doing an effect. I can get a darkness here. Now, we go for the light and dark. Maximize the damage. Crystal conduit just to get that here. Uh. Void. Okay, first chair, take two damage. He's doing 25. Definitely should do this. Get this out of here. Go ahead and, oh, that's the bad one too. Uh, 17. I think we're okay. We'll survive another one. Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> There's too many random effects, but he's pretty cool. And it's another boss we hadn't seen yet. So I'm okay with that, but that will do it for this episode guys i hope you guys did enjoy like i said at the beginning thank you guys so much for watching um i don't get like 50 and 60 views per video so it's very nice to see so i wanted to thank you guys again um yeah uh like i said earlier uh looking at some different games to add if you have any opinions please let me know i'm happy to look at new stuff um whether it be on steam and we haven't tried it or something that i haven't played in a while um seven days to dies DST waterlogged update, um, Apex I've done. Um, there's just tons of games. So anything you guys think are interesting, uh, I think we are going to finish with the Watcher on the Runa, uh, Library of Runa. And then we're gonna add the subset mod. There's another mod that goes along. I don't know if it goes along specifically with this or if they just happen to be both for Runa, uh, but it was recommended to add it. So we will probably be doing that uh, on the fourth playthrough of this. But that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.